All right, so we're getting in the car to head to our next destination. But the car service, there's a car parked here. There's several parked in front of him. There's cars parked around him. And there's all these cars parked behind him. I don't know how he got in, much less how he's gonna get out. Um, we'll see it happen. So our driver told us that these cars are parked here under the premise that they all leave their telephone number and it is the only free parking in the city. So they leave their telephone number. If you need to get out, you have to call and then they all come down here, move their car, wait and pull it back in. But right now we're moving on. We have a car. We are going to country number 87 next. We are heading to Kosovo to a small city in the south. It was a little bit of a puzzle to figure out how we were gonna get into Kosovo. The drivers are not allowed to cross the border without a negative uh, COVID test. So they are driving us to the border where Paige and I are going to walk across the border and another driver is going to pick us up, but more on that later. First, we have one stop on the way. First stop, we stopped at Matka Canyon. Matka Canyon, maybe. Um, our driver stopped us here. It's supposed to be stunning views, epic vistas. Let's see what we've got. So, Matka Canyon, they have placed uh, measures on the river to supply power to Skopje, right over here. Uh, I'll get some views in a second. It's kind of chilly out today. I don't wear my sweater, sweater weather. <laughs> I didn't wear anything, my t-shirt. You do have to be careful. It's very low. My hair is striking the top of it. I'm not sure if you can hear me because it's really windy, but we just crossed the Macedonian border and we're walking to the Kosovo border. Hopefully, yeah, we're crossing by foot. Hopefully we can make it in seamlessly, but as we walk now, I'll let you know. I don't think they want me to film over there. We made it. The Kosovo people at the border control were so nice. 
they welcomed us to the country. It was no problem crossing over the border and our driver met us to pick us up and he'll take us to our place where we're staying. Really nice. Uh, welcome to Kosovo. Sponsor us. Please sponsor us. No, trying all the Pringles, one Balkan at a time. So we got to our hotel in Prizren. Super nice. Hotel was cheaper than getting the Airbnb this time. It's really cute. Check it out. So we got separate beds. I don't know how anybody not of normal size could fit on these beds, but Paige got an extra pillow. We're going to go to the number three restaurant. It was recommended to us by our driver coming from Macedonia. It's called Beska. Online it says it's closed. I'm gonna go check and make sure that's accurate. And if not, we're gonna head up the river to another one. And I'll show you a little bit of Prizren. And as you can see, people are wearing masks, but incorrectly. He's got it on over his chin rather than over the rest of his face. And he's the waiter. Um, so I'm being extra specially careful and holding this over my mouth and nose during the whole duration of lunch. Um, it's an interesting situation. Kosovo is listed as a level four COVID destination on the US, web, web, on the US website. Um, now we know why. All, nobody has these masks on appropriately. Literally here, nobody is wearing their masks. Watch. After a small nap, Paige needed to take a nap. She was really tired. He took a nap. And by Paige, I mean me. I was paying my credit card bills. Paige is paying her credit card. Why didn't you pay mine? Um, we're going to walk up to the fortress. It doesn't look very far from here. We stopped right here to get some water. Took the guy 30 minutes to get his change. And now we're going to climb to the fortress, which looks like it's right up there. Um, higher than we thought. Uh, we'll take some pictures along the way and then we'll show you what we see when we get to the top. They said go up to the top for sunset. Check it out. I don't think you can see how steep this is. I feel like I'm always out of breath on these things. I mean, I'm too old for it. This is a hike. She's got no excuse. Um, obviously the fortress is behind us. <laughs> We're taking a little bit of a break. It was not cute getting up here. Jacket's off. Sweatshirt's on. Um, he's not bad. Uh, all right, um, into the fortress we go. I'm waiting a fantastic sunset. Bye. <laughs> she said it. So I was joking every single time. I always wondered if at the top of these fortresses there this would be an ice cream machine. An ice cream stand. Camelback. Lo and behold, at the top, there's an ice cream. And we're getting it. Who's getting ice cream? These two.
So Prizren Fortress in Prizren, Kosovo was built in the 6th century. It was Fun built, fact. Mm -hmm, built by the Byzantines and excavations didn't begin here until 1969. Then again in 2004, 2009 to 2011 and uh, it's free to get in. Um, if you can manage, manage the, the height. Yeah, if you can manage the climb up. It's quick. It's like a quick pain. But um... Maybe don't do it if you're older than John. What? sunset. The temperature went down about 15 degrees by now. There's one thing we don't need right now, that is ice cream. But, oh look, it's really nice now. The light's great. Um, I have managed to leave my converter in the apartment we were staying at in, where the hell were we? I've managed to leave my converter in the apartment we were staying at in Skopje, so I have to go to some electronics store and pick one up, otherwise I can't charge anything. And then we're going to go get something for dinner. Something yummy. But now, downhill. Yeah. to dinner spent some time up there at the fortress that was if you're counting fortress number four that we've climbed to attempt five because we had to do the one in Orid twice but we decided to choose the number one rated TripAdvisor restaurant called Marashi in the town here in Prizren we're gonna see what that's all about it's right along the river that's Paige it's right along the river um, so yeah get some good food and call it a night We just finished dinner at Marashi. It is the number one restaurant in Prizren, in Kosovo. This was the best bruschetta. Should this be the number one restaurant? I don't know, I doubt it. It wasn't terrific. Everything was very salty. It was pretty, the service was good. But... The view is great, the service is good. It's right on the river. And I would give it a thumbs up, but I don't think it should be restaurant number one. We'll continue tomorrow night and let you know what we find on our way back to the room and get some sleep. Buddy. She's like this this whole week. Hi buddy. No, you don't like that either? I'm sorry, <laughs> kiddo. Well, well, there is another review of Marashi. He didn't like it. 